get off the freaking net. And welcome to the Blaze On Nation, where the World Wide Web and Real Life World collide, with your host from the depths, JBJ Blaze. Hello and welcome to the very first, well, not very first, the original first episode of Blaze on Nation, which was recorded yesterday, um, didn't go as well as I'd have preferred. So today is a re-recording of the first episode, recorded on August the 22nd, 2013. And we have a couple interesting topics today. Well, maybe not a couple. But um, the first off I'd like to deal with is, um, and I found this on the news last night on CV, C- CTV News Network, if I can pronounce it right. Um, the Parti Quebecois. Now, if you've never heard of them, they are practically a separatist group in Quebec. And if you're wondering what that means, basically Quebecers who are who do not agree with the law and what else in Canada and want to leave. And some people just go with, you know what, let's get them out of here that way they'll quit complaining about our stuff, and there is also the view that, um, well, Quebec was one of the very first provid- pr- provinces, sorry about my mispronunciations here, and um, it should stay that way. They were, again, originally part of Canada, and that's the way it is, so they can suck it up. And I'm sure there are many other views, but those are the only views that I really concentrate on. But, um, and this one guy in this one chat, who goes by Soviet Moose, um, he lived in Quebec, and so, so just a little shout out to him, he's one of my newest web in another side. But, uh, back on topic, what's been going on is the Parti Quebecois has been trying to implement a stupid law that bans the wearing of religious symbols. So, like to workplaces, a Muslim or whoever. Well, whatever religion you are, you cannot wear your religious symbol, so you can't wear your turban. You can't wear any of that to work. And something I've noticed, well, that I realized today is that that is actually... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, ironic? A very good one eighty from what the Nazis did then. They had it where a Jewish, well, anyone who was Jewish was to wear the Star of David somewhere on their body. Um, or at least, well, I'm not sure if there it was strict on where it had to be, but you had to wear a star if you were a Jew. Not to mention there were, I believe, districts, so everyone already would have known you were a Jew. Although, as many people know, they eventually got killed off later. Because the Nazis' beliefs were absolutely crazy and ends up being the greatest mass murder in the world. And it didn't even require... Nuclear, nu, nuclear missiles. It, it's quite amazing. All, all you have to do is send these people into internment camps and boom. You pull off something worse than a nu, 
clear um, weapon. And um, so basically, uh, actually with the stuff in Quebec with their laws, I've also noticed that, well, and actually it's them and Alberta which seem um, not too well with the Charter of Rights. In which the very first one on that Charter of Rights is freedom of speech, expression, religion, what have you. Oh, and freedom of press was another one of them. Which means newspapers can drop whatever crap news they want. And, um, there's been cases in Alberta which violate freedom of speech and expression. And, of course, Quebec has been a pretty big an ignorer, if that is a word, of the Canadian Charter of Rights. And this other case involved the arrest of a person who owned, ran, whatever word, um, a site that expressed neo-Nazi views, um, hatred against, I believe, blacks and Jews, and he, in the end, was arrested for this site. It, it was his site, no one else's, it wasn't on a forum, it was just his site, and he's arrested for it. A violation of freedom of speech and this going on right now with banning the wearing of religious symbols. Um, I'm sure there's probably some lame excuse of um, it influence, influencing people somehow. And um, although to be honest I wonder what would happen with Catholics, because that's one of Canada's big religions, or at least in Quebec it is a big religion, and not to mention, I admit to being one myself, of what they do with them wearing crosses, like I do every day. And, um, uh, yeah. So that's that topic. And another one in which I had found this on SourceFed, um, I will have the link in the description. I forget what the video was called, if I can click into it. Has boyfriend name tattooed on her face, is what the video is called. And what's going on here is after just... 12 hours, no more or less, well maybe that or the other, but um, after just that time, uh, after about half a day of meeting this ranger who um, finally became her boyfriend, she somehow decided Hmm, to, to um, express my love for this guy, I'm going to put a tattoo on my face. And um, I'm not sure how much safe for the workplace this is, but in the video you will see a um, somewhat disturbing picture of the um, right after, or at least sometime after, her getting that tattoo on her face, which has, I believe, her boyfriend's name. And, good lord, I admit, she looked very pretty without that tattoo. And that tattoo just ruins it all. And you're taught that same thing when you're little. Um, don't talk to strangers, don't get in a car with strangers. Then again, now that I think of it, that would be because of pedophilia. And, um, it's 
That's very dangerous. Do not trust them. All that's for that. And, um... For some reason, she didn't really... Um, go well with that. And ends up losing her very pretty face. Or at least I some thought it was pretty, and I don't even know her. And it's quite a pretty face. Well, until now that she's got that tattoo. Ugh. And yes, I do admit so myself. No, I do not have a tattoo. A tattoo. Um, the closest thing I'd ever, well, that I've ever had to one is, of course, a temporary one. And my view of it is, well, basically, um, if you're gonna go in an MRI machine, you don't have a tattoo because, well, all that magnetic stuff in your tattoo, that's gonna put you through hell. And all these people going through trying to break world records of, um, having the most tattooed body. But like, OMG, I have 200% of my body covered in tattoos. And yes, this is the uh, guy who's all covered in blue ink. And, and oh my god. Gosh, this is awesome. I have metal teeth, and I have... ...or whatever you call it, skin on my body. It's all turned blue, and... ...I'm not gonna be able to go in an MRI machine. ...and I can sense I'm gonna be dead. His hands down. The MRI machine is going to rip all the skin right off, leaving a bunch of blood. And th this is as if I get it for some reason the doctors or surgeons or whatever aren't too bright. Or whoever um, deals with the MRI machines in these hospitals. And oof, just not a pretty picture. Um, I... I this one would be for all of the um, Spongebob fans out there. If you've ever seen this one episode, I one, but I, it's, while well, Squidward Tentacles is in a jail, and in one scene, he rips the facial skin right off one of the guards, leaving only his... Well, uh, his gods. Fish, so. Uh, because he's a fish. And th that's actually what it really brings to my mind. It's just. And not sure how well that sound effect sounded, but. That's my mind. And it's. <laughs> I'm not sure what. Other than being, we we have a girl with tattoo on her face, and other people getting so many tattoos, their skin's gonna rip off, and not much you can do about that. Although, honestly, I kind of wonder what or how it would go. With, um, what you mean? With the removal of a, of all these tattoos off of a body. Um, hold on. I'm gonna give a quick link up to a group chat. Let's taking too much of a thought process, my bad. But, um... According to Spreaker, which is... I, I, I actually gotta recommend this site. Um, just along as... Well, 
If you don't want the free plan, you better have a lot of money. They are darn well expensive. Not that I pay for them. I I wouldn't say as though I'd pay as much as they want, but I can definitely recommend their service now that I speak of it. And um, also, um, as I feel like just closing this up, um, Actually, before I'll give a shout out to this one group first. Um, just at gaming.blogspot.ca, I will put a link to their website in the description. And um, I was I guess um, I'm not sure if I have many viewers from them or whatever, but um. We might be forming a partnership or something, but I recommend you check out their stuff. Um, that they seem to be quite active with their um, administrator Ibiib. Tell him I sent you. Tell him JBJ Blaze from Blaze Nation sent you. And uh. Before I go, because I might just have this maybe 25 minutes, no, 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 no. but um, before I end up um, in future episodes, I will. I am interested in having a um, section for listener contributions. Um, I, I kind of, I really did get a little bit and stuff from. This other podcast I listen to, which I definitely recommend that if you love Minecraft or want to hear a lot of stuff about Minecraft, the Shaft Podcast by the Dead Workers Party. Um, you can find them at deadworkers.engine.com slash the Shaft Podcast or minus the Shaft Podcast podcast, and you'll just get deadworkers.engine.com. And, um, they do a really good podcast, and whenever I'm washing and drying dishes or playing Minecraft, it, it really makes it a lot more amusing. Not to mention hearing Wes Wilson laugh. But, um, that's kind of where I got the idea for listener contributions. Because in their name, they have other viewers and listeners um, sending pretty good stuff if I do say so but um what else is new um um if you I um I do let it on my youtube channel youtube dot com slash jbj blaze where you can um you'll be able to find the audio version actually there's only an audio version of this podcast um, you will be able to find the final version and I'll probably maybe try to cut something off because of the five six four minutes I spent um, waiting for a good time to start, and um, yeah, I'll be publishing all. Actually, Spreaker does it all for me. So SoundCloud dot JBJ SoundCloud dot com slash JBJ where you're able to find the MP well the final thing after this, and. Um, You'll also be able to find it on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash jbjblaze. Um, JBJ or JBB to have a thing to do with Justin Bieber. It's something more private, family-like. And, yeah. And I've been doing Let's Plays, and you can check those out at... Um, on my channel, 
And um, you can find even more info, and I might just do some show notes at the flippin' awesome dot engine dot com, which is the site for all my YouTube stuff and probably even this podcast. Um, and if you would like to sponsor a future show, so far I only have it for my last place, maybe after episode two or so, or unless someone asks me about it, I might set it up for Blaze on Nation. Uh, Thank you all for listening and well, uh, listen to that, to this, and I will see you all maybe next Thursday. Hopefully next Thursday. Maybe I'll get something set up for that. Um, if you have any stories for me to discuss on. My blog for Blaze on Nation, Blaze on Nation TK. That is B L Blaze on, so B L A Z O N N A T I O N T K. Um, is WordPress. Um, and I hope this screen saver didn't just mess up my um live thing here. If you should do, do that, what's being mean? And, um, yeah. So you can go there for upcoming blog things. That's where I do most of my stuff and talk about stuff that matters to me. And, um, yeah, you can let me know what topics you think might be cool to have on the show, or that you want, and then I will talk my opinion about them. I might have, if there's any room or whatever for having guests on the show, then I- I'm open to that. Very, very open. And, um... Again, thank you for tuning in, and I, I think I will do this next Thursday, and hopefully I can update my Let's Plays as, um, I will need to get another hard drive. But anyhow, with school coming up, stay in school, get good grades, um, getting the girls is optional. And have a good rest of your summer. And this is JBG Blaze and Blaze on Nation, Nation tuning out. And. Okay, screw the kids booing.